The risk of developing colorectal cancer rises after the age of 50. Risk factors include having colorectal polyps, a family history of colorectal cancer, eating a high-fat diet, or smoking. We went to Arcadia, California and spoke to Dr. Peter Vukasin at Methodist Hospital about the importance of screening. The colon is one of the top three cancers we have in the United States. About one in 18 people, 6% of us, will get colon cancer in our lifetime. The most common symptom of colon cancer is none. And that's the thing that really is interesting about it. And it's the thing that makes it a little bit difficult to deal with. So until a cancer becomes big enough to cause bleeding, to erode into blood vessels, to cause blockages of the intestines, to start growing into other tissues which can cause pain, they're really completely asymptomatic. So we can talk about colon cancer symptoms, which are blockage of the intestine, cramping, bloating, pain, erosion into blood vessels with bleeding, those kinds of things. But really, by that point, we're beyond where we should be. We want to catch the game earlier on. We want to get that cancer before it gets the symptoms. Symptoms like constipation, diarrhea, abdominal pain, abdominal cramps, they're what we call nonspecific symptoms. A lot of patients, women and men, will have a lot of those symptoms. They're not necessarily cancer. But the other side of the coin is cancers will sometimes cause those symptoms. So they're not symptoms you want to ignore. You want to pay attention to them, you want to evaluate them at some point, make sure that it's not being caused by cancer. We come to the diagnosis really in a couple of ways. One way, which is what we prefer, is to catch it before it causes any problems, and that's through screening. The screening for the colon mostly is done through colonoscopy, which is a camera on a flexible tube that's put into the colon under sedation so there's not much discomfort. You look around and see if we see any signs of cancers or even more importantly, the precursors to cancer. The other way is when people come in with symptoms. So when people do come to their physician complaining of abdominal pains, bleedings, things, usually that are relatively recent onset that haven't been around for a long time, those are the ones that get evaluated and worked up as a diagnostic testing, not screening, but diagnostic. And that will sometimes uncover malignancies. Dr. Gukasin talks about the treatment options. The treatment really depends on where the cancer is and how advanced it is at the time that you find it. Rectal cancers, which is the last few centimeters or last 10 inches of the, of the colon, those cancers tend to be a little more aggressive, and because they're enclosed in the pelvis and the surrounding structures, they tend to behave and are treated a little bit differently. In rectal cancer, we'll more often use radiation therapy and chemotherapy even before we do surgery to remove it, before we remove the cancer. Um, in the colon, because that's a little, it's not encased in the same kind of envelope, it's more free in the abdomen, it doesn't tend to grow into surrounding tissues, it doesn't spread locally as much. So the first tool is to get rid of the growth itself, which is usually through surgery. And then once we get rid of that growth, we can look under the microscope and look at characteristics of the tumor. That's called a staging system, whether a tumor is an aggressive or less aggressive or intermediary type on the stage, which will then direct us whether we should give any treatment to the possibility of spread of tumor, and that's chemotherapy. The treatment to colorectal cancer really is a good example of what we speak about frequently in medicine, which is multidisciplinary approach to treatments. This is a cancer that really requires a surgical approach, but also needs chemotherapy, so an oncologist and a radiation therapist to be involved. So we feel very strongly that this is a cancer that requires a team approach, and the best place to get treated is a place where they have teams that are set up to deal with these as a unified force.